what is up, Flood Mod 14 here. Uh, yeah, we've actually got a turn count with uh, Rex. Um, the only reason I'm cutting in here is because, uh, yeah, this may be a pretty short part, because I think I actually messed up on the, uh, <laughs> um, on, uh, something here. Uh, basically, in between episodes, I was checking out, you know, uh, who we're allowed to face next. Uh, I actually recorded a few bonus episodes about it, so look forward to those in the future. Uh, some of them were pretty funny, honestly. But I think we're gonna, because of that, I accidentally uh, have an extra uh, thing, and I think we're gonna have a free reincarnation here. Also, I summon Metal Greymon, who we've been using a lot in Forbidden Memories there. You can see him at the bottom, Cyber Zars. Uh, pretty cool. Stone D has been promoted. Sweet. Alright. There we go. Alright, and let's take a look here. Uh, what do we want? Well, he did play uh, Acid uh, Rain this. So let's try to get that. That's 1,000, 2,000, 3. Oh, close. Okay, got it. Ah, uh, it was too quick that time. Uh, where is it? That's 1, that's 2, that's 3. Ooh, missed it by 1. Man, I was close though, two times there. Oh man, we missed Ray's body heat too, but that's okay. It's okay. We did get Br Breath of Light last time, so that's pretty good. Alright, so let's see if I have a reincarnation. I think I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we may, uh, so, you know, soft reset a couple times and just do a, a reincarnation episode. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, in between episodes, I kind of checked. And um, yeah, we're not allowed to uh, duel Pegasus yet per the ranking challenge or uh, Labyrinth Ruler. We are, however, allowed to duel a new duelist. And uh, that's actually what my deck cost is at 793 right now. We're actually allowed to come over here, yeah, and duel Necromancer. But first, you know, we are at a total of 95 duels, so let's reincarnate. And I did save a couple times, so if we don't get anything, you know, too good, um, then we will retry. Uh, Trakadon, yeah, I, I like cards around 21. Uh, let's I hope we get something good, like a good trap card or uh, another dragon or something. Would honestly help us. Man eaty plants. Is that Ukazi? That eh, card's not too bad, honestly. We already have one copy, though. What is that? Stone Ghost. Mm. If we didn't already have Ukazi, I'd say, honestly, that's not a bad reincarnation. And overall, it's not bad, yeah, because since spells and traps are pretty rare. Um, I think we can do better, though. I think we can do better. We're gonna, we're gonna reset as far as that reincarnation, yeah. We're gonna reset. Well, not reset, we're just gonna... Uh, back up to the title, and we'll tr we'll, we'll try for like uh, what time is it? Yeah, we'll try for eh, like yeah, it's ten uh, forty four right now. So we'll try to like ten fifty one. If we don't get anything good, then I'll I'll just kind of uh, you know cut the episode, and we'll uh, cut back in to uh, until I do get something good, you know, because there's no point in you know me taking too much of you guys' time on a reincarnation episode, but uh, yeah. All right. I mean, we probably can reasonably get something uh, pretty good, though. So, yeah. And so we started this episode about 10:40. Okay, so I can go to like 11:10. Uh, okay, this time let's try doing something around 22 deck costs or uh, 19 or so. Uh, anything we have a lot of copies of. Uh, well, we have, uh, oh, we actually have nine copies of an Infinite Dismissal. Might be a good choice, honestly. Um, oh, or Nightmare Scorpion. Mm, let's do Nightmare Scorpion. Let's try. Mm, what is that? Oh, is that Dragon Zombie? Hmm, okay, we'll probably keep this one, honestly. That's a pretty good card. Peacock? Yeah, Peacock. Dragon Zombie is just generally good for fusions. And an Electric Snake. Hmm, how many Thunder types do we have? Oh, this has an effect on this game. Uh, well, okay. Uh, let's go by types. How many Thunders we got in this game? <laughs> not, not like it's Forbidden Memories, but still, I, Thunders do mix well with our deck because, uh, yeah, you can um, benefit off of the sea terrain. So we've got one, two, three. Oh, okay, that gives us only our third Thunder. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. And yeah, in between episodes, I did get my deck cost to 793. Now, the only problem with me uh, accidentally, um, you know, uh, doing the surrender thing 
um, versus uh, Bones, so check him out. Is You won't actually see his first dialogue here, but I do have it pulled up on a separate... Uh, yeah, let me pull it up on my computer here, though. And I'll just kind of I'll just kind of read. We'll, we'll pretend he's saying it on screen, but this is what he'll say if you first challenge him. So here we go. All right, so let's go here. And here's what he'll have to say. Ready? Okay, so we'll go here. And here's what he'll say. Let's see. Don't oh, oh, my zombie dick hungers for a taste of you. This arena will be your graveyard. No, he actually doesn't say that. But then he says, after hungers for a taste of you, he says... Oh, oh, that's all he says. Ooh, my zombie that hungers for a taste of you. All right, guys, so first time I'm showing this in episode. Uh, let's play Red Medicine first turn. Um, yeah, let's just go forward here. Actually, let's play Red Medicine right here. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this uh, new opponent of ours. Pumpkin, the king of ghosts. Go, ectoplasmic fortification. And despite that being like a duelist kingdom thing, yeah, check out this guy's special info. Nature effect, much like Maiden of the Aqua. While this card is face up in defense position, all zombies, including your opponents, are increased by 100 points at the start of each turn. Yeah, this is a pretty good card. Also check out all his deck leader abilities. Extended support range. That's a very good ability with increased same uh, strength for same type friendlies. So normally our deck leader will benefit our aquas just right here, you know, as I'm putting my cursor, just in the basic range, but extended support, I think can benefit it all the way like two squares out in every direction, like right there. Uh, I think even right here, like extended support goes crazy as far as the range. Like if I had it on made of the aqua, I could get boost for aquas all the way over here. It's crazy, it really is. But anyway, let's see what uh, brains, 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 bones is gonna do. <laughs> all right, brains. I summon a brains and then play two brains on it. Brains, brains, I am my brains. Let's check out those power-ups. Two violet crystals, yeah, that's not good. So that zombie not only has the field advantage, it's got a thousand extra points, plus 500 from his deck leader right now. Yikes. Okay. So one thing I wanna do is uh, definitely get some uh, setup going here. We do have a machine, so let me set limiter removal. And let me move my deck leader. Uh, let's, he's kind of right there. Let's go right here and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, and something you should know about Bones is he tends to migrate his deck leader, you know, that way. So, yeah, just so you know, you know, you may want to follow along that way. You may want to catch, you know, if you're, especially if you're new to the game. Uh, you may want to head, uh, let him go in that corner. You go all the way in this corner, you know, in this kind of corner. March up this area and then head to the left. That may work better for you, honestly. Um, okay, I don't know what monster he has here. But we're going to find out one way or the other. Uh, let's throw down Psychic Kappa. And regardless of what happens, um, yeah, we'll be able to find out what his monster is working with there. So I'm using red medicine as bait. I don't really think I need the life points, but if he's got like, let's say a zombie that can move uh, two squares and attack it, then it will reveal what he's working with. So I'm just using red medicine as bait. So, oh, power increase. So maybe, maybe he can move two squares. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, and he's finally in the corner. So what are you working with here? Zombie warrior. So this is what he gave two power ups. Let's watch. And I'm gonna get a drink. Pretty cool, pretty cool card. Yeah, we did get Dragon Zombie to start the episode, and that's honestly a pretty... I probably should have thrown it in the deck for this uh, episode, but... I, I kind of just wanted to get into it. You guys know what I mean? Oh! Yeah, I remember that attack from the intro to the game. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. All right, so... Oh! Zombie Warrior looks great in this game. Look at that detail. <laughs> looks like a golden fighter. <laughs> Alright. Okay, he did not move that card. 
power twice, so what did he power up? Dark energy. Okay, so that could really be anything in his deck. He does have a lot of dark cards. Now, it's only at 2200. Not too shabby, honestly. Um, only at 22. Let me think here. Hmm, something I could do to be a little clever here just so I can reveal some more of his monsters. Let's play Gigan again. We, we actually reincarnated for this guy, but this is the first time I'm, I'm summoning this. So check it out. It has the same effect of Psychic Kappa. Basically, you take no damage. Also, Flip. When this card's flip face up, adds one more Kag Kaganinian face up in your own summoning area. That's pretty cool, honestly. So let's, let's move to the left, because he's charging in on us. And then let's flip up Kaganinian. To summon Kageningen. Ooh. Alright, and let's try to leave this Kageningen as bait. Let's try to encourage him to come this way instead of on the Wasteland Square. Actually, let's move Kageningen here. Yeah, maybe I can fuse with it or something. And we'll leave the bait in defense mode. Okay, so we're not getting a great start as far as drawing in this episode. But once we get some of our cards that can, you know, turn the tide, I think we'll be doing pretty good. Okay, he did go right there. Okay. That's okay. I've got a, I've got a strategy to block for that square. That's okay. That's okay, Bones. So let's back up our bait card. And then, so he's at 2700. Uh, ooh, that's not too bad. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the left. And then, remember, this has 2200 normally. So let's uh, summon it with a power increase. But of course, we don't want to move it to the Wasteland Square because, look, yeah, we would actually lose the fight. So let's just camp here in attack mode, and then we will wait for him to attack us. And in the meantime, we'll try to reveal some of his strategies with our Kaganinian. So they're kind of our scouts in this deck, yeah. And they can fuse with some stuff, uh, but not just anything too ridiculous, you know, in power, so... Um, maybe I should throw a pyro in this deck. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. All right, time to finally defeat your first turn zombie warrior, my guy. Yeah, zombies are pretty good in this game, though. Like, his zombie warrior is only a level three, so he probably has a lot of summoning stars at this point. <laughs> so cool seeing an attack from the intro. Yeah, double slash. Ah, but what will you do when I flood this field? Go, surf attack! Flood your mind with despair. Tends us we get to blow his monster away into a watery grave. Heh, <laughs> looks like you won't be able to revive from that, you zombie. Nah, be gone. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Alrighty, and let's see if he's going to do anything else. Uh, well, he's moving some cards in towards us. Ah, okay. Graveyard in the Hand of Invitation. Now, you may have saw it said they're changed type. What does that mean? Hmm. We'll check it out when it's our turn. But for now, let's just watch. And I'm going to grab a drink. Sucked out my soul. Your soul is mine. Love, Mortal Kombat. Do, 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 do. Oh, and he's flexing. Ah, Graveyard in the Hand of Invitation doesn't skip uh, leg day. Man, that was a pretty baller attack, though, not gonna lie. For only like a 700 point monster? That's crazy. Anyway, yeah, let's check out this thing's uh, abilities. So, when this card is flipped face up, all your monsters that are are transformed into zombie monsters. So this combos really well with his uh, deck leader abilities. So basically, all these are zombies, so watch out, especially for these two cards, since they're in his deck leader range, you know what I mean? So, yeah, if he ever plays that, watch out for that. Um, now let's see, ooh, we've got our deck leader, main of the Aqua. Let's get it going. Let's, this is our main strategy, so I'll have her chill in defense mode. Now let's see if we can trick the AI. I'm actually gonna move Kaganingen 
right here. Hope he, since this is a zombie now, hope he flips two and comes here, and then I can take him back with giant red sea snake. So we're just gonna hold the fort for now, and I'll end our turn. Oh man, it's so nice to be uh, facing some new opponents though in the uh, Duels of the Roses ranking challenge. Last episode we got Panic, you know, now we're gonna get, uh, uh, yeah, Bones here, so. Brains, 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 brains. So that's awesome, that feels good. Okay, so he didn't take the bait. Um, but yeah, now you can see that this card is out of the range of his deck leader. So now it's all the way down to 1200. So that's, you know. Uh, let's see what we draw here. Furious Sea King. Pretty good. Let's start uh, converting some of this field to water, shall we? Um, let's go ahead and move right here. Okay, let's move our deck leader here. Uh, and I'm not afraid to take, you know... Uh, 1200 direct, I mean 700 direct, that's honestly not an issue. What I really want to do is summon my Furious Seeking right here. And even if we lose the fight, the fact that he changes the squares to water is good for us. So go, Furious Seeking, go on in. So he's got terrain up. I think we're going to lose this fight, but oh no, we won. Okay, that's best case scenario but more importantly we're gonna turn the tide to sea terrain so yeah and that's that's the key you see to this game all right legendary pike Another iconic card, though. I do love that they gave Bones, uh, you know, Pump King, the King of Ghosts, uh, Armored Zombie. We've seen Zombie Warrior. You know, he probably has Zanki. You know what I mean? I love that they gave him some of his uh, iconic cards. He probably has Dragon Zombie somewhere in there. You know? It's 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 nice. It's it really is nice to see. And it's nice to see that his Pump King, you know, kind of works like it did in Duel's Kingdom. I mean, yeah, it's a little. You know, you may say it's o overpowered in this game, but I I like it. I like it. I really do. So anyway, let's move here and end the turn. All right, what you got, Bones? gonna summon something there. He'll probably attack Sea King back with something, you know. Uh, oh. He, he's just walling up. Okay. Well, that's good for us, obviously. Okay. Yeah, he didn't even attack our red medicine, did he? No. Wow. Okay. Um, in that case, let's... We're gonna get our fifth monster on the board. Uh, let's check what's in our hand here. Uh, Aqua Chorus. Okay. I could fuse into, uh, Amphibious Bugroth, but I kind of want the boost from Starboy first. So, let's do like I showed you guys on that highlight. Have Starboy power everything up. That's crazy, man. A two-star, you know, being at 2250. <laughs> that, that, that's... That's, that's the power of this game, you know, once you start to unlock deck leader ability. That's awesome. All right, Starboy, get him. Pay that time. This is for attacking me directly. Laser beam. Oh, spun right round like a record, baby. And your record just got scratched because you have been destroyed. Oh, yeah. Attaboy, Starboy. Yeah, good going. This card might actually uh, rank up, considering it defeated um, a, uh, a Sword Arm of a Dragon, uh, you know. Uh, anyway, let's charge Kage Ningen into this, because I'm not really afraid of it, because no matter what, I don't take damage, so... Ew, Kage Ningen. What remains? Ah, it's got a special ability. Uh, what did it do? know but it just got 500 extra points hmm i guess we'll check out why after he defeats us anyway let's see kaganing in attack another attack from the opening yeah pretty cool attack honestly what you got wood remains poison breath 
Oh, no, supersonic. Supersonic, electronic, hypnotic, funky, fresh. Oh, uh, and down goes Kaganingen. But, you know, sorry, Kaganingen, but I had to make sure, you know, Furious Sea King would be okay to attack this monster. I hope you understand. I appreciate your sacrifice. And thank you for the Kagebushin no Jutsu. Okay, so, yeah, we can beat this, but we'll only beat it by a hundred. So actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave Furious Seeking on the, uh, let's move here into the water. 4,000, holy shit. Uh, yeah, let's move here into the water, uh, where we're benefited, and let's just stay in the water and attack this. Blocker! That's an interesting card. Is that a gimmick puppet? Hmm. Man, yeah, this thing totally looks like a gimmick puppet. <laughs> Who knew gimmick puppets originated in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses? Legendary Akbatian Pike. So he is gonna survive. But at least now we now we know what we're working with. And, and now it kinda makes sense why he didn't attack us. Um yeah, these monsters don't have the highest power. But uh, let's check out Blocker. Blocker. Oh, it's got the Psychic Kappa and Kaganingen effect. Okay, but it's a machine. Oh, oh, that right. I was wondering why it didn't get powered down, but I guess that is a benefit to changing stuff to zombies. You don't get powered down in Wasteland. Yeah, so there you go. Okay, we'll move that there. We'll, we'll call it a turn. The stool's going pretty good, honestly, so far. Knock on wood, knock on wood. moved his uh, wood remains here, so with that being done, let's play Aqua Chorus, because our monsters are all full. Oh, no, wait, I guess I could play another monster, because we lost Kaganingen. Uh, still, I think this is worth it at this point, so let's, uh, yeah, let's attack with Furious Sea King, and we'll clear out, you know, these monsters that have been, he's been marching down south here toward us, our deck leader, so. But he's actually going to take damage for this, so that's good. Alright, rematch time with remains. Uh, I have a gift of you, courtesy of Kageningen. In the Atlantean Pike. Yeah. Take that. Close your mouth, son, while you at the table. I need to butter my biscuits. All hail the king! Hoorah! <laughs> Alright. And what's his life points down to? 450? Holy crap. Okay, well, uh, let's move this here. Let's kind of box this in. And then let's move here. And let's just start moving in. We're at 4600. Why not, right? Uh, now, Starboy, I'll probably keep close to us. Uh, just to protect him a bit, but, uh, yeah, well, we have another Aqua Chorus, so, I don't know, maybe I'll move him in, I don't know. Actually, what I'm probably gonna do is have Seeking, uh, turn the time. Did he just move right toward me? Are you crazy? You done lost your mind, Bones. Well, this better have a good effect, uh, attack. Oh my god, it's just Shadow Bull. Well, honestly, Bones, I love you. And you're a good character, but that wasn't the brightest move, buddy. Should have put this in defense. What are you thinking, man? I got 44,600 attack points. Oh, well, this could be the end of the duel, so. That, fine by me. Fine by me. should be at about 15 minutes, so I think we can do, we probably have time for another duel in this episode, assuming we don't get stalled out or a bad draw, you know, uh, yeah, who should I duel, maybe I'll duel Bandit Keith, we haven't dueled him in a while, so, alright, well that's it, Bones. I guess we can try to win Pumpkin in the, uh, graveyard slots, you win, Yata. 
Here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Okay. Hmm. Well, he, he did play two Violet Crystal, honestly, though. Let's go for a three in a row, actually. Okay. Oh, I got pumpkin. Okay. Uh, let, let's go for it. Oh, I missed it by one. Okay. Well, in that case, let's just go for Violet Crystal, I guess. Uh, okay, sweet. Three pretty good cards, though, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Those are some good cards. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it, man. Yeah, and we got Dragon Zombie, too. Hmm. Interesting. Now, what do you have to say since I've defeated? Ah, Joey Wheeler. You will never escape this graveyard field. Ooh, you'd be a fool if you think you've seen the last of me. Zombies keep coming back over and over. Ooh. Yeah, I wasn't afraid of you or anything. It's your ooga booga face that gave me the willies. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Joey actually said that line in the anime. <laughs> That's like one of the most base things I've ever heard. Uh, <laughs> Alright, actually, let's edit the deck. Let's edit the deck. Uh, <laughs> can't believe I, I thought of that line. Uh, but yeah, we got Pumpkin, so pretty cool. And we got some cards that power them up. Uh, now, one of these decks I have Dark Magician in, right? Uh, yeah, this one. Hmm, okay. So let's kind of mess with this deck. Uh... Yeah, what's got around 43 deck cost? Uh, I can take this out. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Put in Pumpkin. Uh, and then let's put in Dark Energy, Violet Crystal, and Dragon Zombie. So, what's not too good? Um, I don't think Wing Beast fuse with anything in this deck, so... Or maybe they do. Oh well. If they do fuse, I can take it out. Um, Wing Beast. Let, let's actually look for that right now. Wing Beast fusions. Um, well, I guess they do fuse with Wolf for Garb Ass. But uh, it's okay. We've got plenty of female cards too in this deck, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and we've got a lot of power ups in here already. Let's just swap out one armor for by the Crystal, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One armor for Violet Crystal. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, let's go for Dragon Zombies. So, uh, Dragon Zombies got a pretty low cost. Um, where's the... I probably should go by type, but... Uh, um, there it is. Yeah, 16 deck cost for 1600 That's crazy. That's so crazy. Um, so 16 deck cost. Um, let's take out mm, an infinite dismissal. Mm. What does this power up in this deck? I don't think it powers up anything except itself. Uh, let's check this for fiends type sort. Yeah, and let's go for fiend. Fiend, fiend, fiend. Eh, yeah, let's take this out for Dragon Zombie. Uh, what do you do? Uh, that can be helpful, okay. Mm, nah, let's, let's take it out, let's take it out. And, uh, let's see on this side if we got any other zombies. Um, that we can put in here for Pumpkin. Uh, or any plants that can help us fuse. That's a great idea. Uh, warriors... Zombie is what I'm looking for. Wait, oh, Zoa. Wow, I might want to add that to the stick. I could add it right now. Let's add Zoa. Sure. And, uh... How many plants are in the stick? Let's see. Let's actually just take out a Hercules beetle right now. Plants. Plants, plants, plants. Ooh, just one tentacle plant? Yeah, I, I, I'm glad I checked that. Wait, wait, I have Tomb Summon Skull? That's almost better than Zoa. Yeah, we'll leave Zoe in. We'll give Zoe some time to shine. Um, plants. All the way to the bottom, I think. Oh, all the plants are in. That's why the plant counts so low. Okay. That honestly makes a lot of sense. In that case, let's just go by deck cost. And... 
this card's honestly pretty good. Pretty good defense. Um, or I could throw in Toon Summon Skull. That's, that's an option. It was at like 35, right? Toon Skull. Yeah, 37. Okay. Not bad for a 778 uh, deck. And I think Dark Energy powers it up, so that's, that's kind of nice, really. Alright, so, and since I already have this deck selected, uh, what's the ranking? Uh, three star with this deck? Okay, so we'll just do a Weevil, you know, just for the sake of time. Uh, yeah, and I kind of just want to show off some of my new cards anyway, so... Weevil, you're up! Because I'm, uh, one star higher than you, so I can duel you with this deck. Alright, but I'm glad we got to show off Bones and, uh, Panic, and... We got to Colonel. Pretty good recording session overall. Pretty good. And I'm glad that we got two new opponents unlocked. That's that's really good. It's, it's it's honestly a load off my mind because now now I feel like I won't get as bored, you know, with the series or anything. So all right, Man Eater Bug. Pretty good, pretty good monster to have first turn, honestly. Uh, attack me before target engaged. Lost the lead. Time the Uh, Kwagata, yeah. Alright, let's move forward here. Um, that's a pretty good draw. Okay, let's just chase him down, I guess. Alright, so we'll go right here. And then I'll play Man Eater Bug right here. Man, not bad, not bad. Pretty, pretty lucky there, honestly. What you gonna do, Weevil? Running away? Why are you running away? Man, I can throw a infinite dismissal your way. There we go. We'll just leave it here. And bug, go. Okay. Beetle, go. Nice. Okay, this duel's going really quick. This might be the quickest duel we've ever played in this uh, series. Ah, a trap for a trap. So it was bear trap. Oh, Hercules didn't trigger it because it's at 25. Nice. Uh, probably gonna attack my bug. That's fine. 